Although power generation is becoming increasingly digitalized, many players are still reluctant to take advantage of technology and create new business models around it. A few isolated digitization use cases, often unrelated to business value, have been implemented by even the most technologically advanced players in power generation since there are no global end-to-end -end cases of digitization in power generation. You're watching YouTube channel Caesar Rick Heal. In today's video we are going to talk about the future of power generation. Before moving forward to discuss these top power generation, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. So, you won't miss any future videos we upload. Number 10. Space-based solar power. We receive more solar energy every hour than we consume in a full year on planet Earth combined. In order to capture some of the higher intensity solar energy, giant solar farms will be built in space, where the radiation will remain uninterrupted. Solar radiation would remain uninterrupted. A large mirror would reflect solar radiation onto a smaller collector, from which the radiation would be wirelessly transmitted to the Earth by a microwave or laser beam. It is likely that companies like SpaceX will be able to make this amazing idea a reality in a few years as solar technology advances in cargo launch costs decrease. Number 9. Human Power Despite the fact that there are already human-powered devices, scientists are exploring how to harness power from normal human movement. Even though we're talking tiny electronics, the potential is enormous if multiplied by billions. The development of electronics that consume less and less power will eventually lead to your phone charging when you shake it in your bag pocket or touch it. Lawrence University The Berkeley National Laboratory has even demonstrated a device that converts pressure into electricity using viruses. It sounds amazing, but I am unable to explain how it works. You can find out more by clicking on the link below. You can also passively produce electricity as you move with a variety of body-worn systems. Human power won't solve global warming, but every little bit helps. Number 8. Tidal Power More than 100 companies are exploring ways to harness the energy contained in ocean motion, which could power the world several times. Tidal energy systems were pushed out of the early mix as a result of the dominance of wind and solar energy. However, they are becoming more efficient as time goes on. The Oyster, a hinged flap that attaches to the ocean floor and pumps high-pressure water onshore when it opens and closes, generates 2.4 megawatts of electricity. The power from one of these could power 2,500 homes or a whole residential development. An engineer at the Air Force Academy has invented a Terminator wing-shaped turbine that employs lift instead of drag, allowing it to theoretically harness 99% of a wave's energy rather than 50% of a tidal project's energy. As of today, Perth has received enough water for 500,000 years thanks to the world's first wave-powered desalination plant. Number 7. Hydrogen. The element hydrogen by far the most abundant in the universe is very high in energy but an engine that burns hydrogen produces almost no pollution. NASA's space shuttles, shuttles, and parts of the International Space Station have been using hydrogen for years. There is not enough hydrogen on our planet to power the entire planet because it only comes in combination with other elements like oxygen. You know, good old H-20. During the late 1980s, Russia converted a passenger jet into hydrogen, which Boeing tested. A demonstration event will be held by Honda to demonstrate the versatility of its new hydrogen fuel cell car. Once it has been separated, hydrogen can be pumped into mobile fuel cells within vehicles that can convert it directly into electricity. By plugging into a model home in Japan, it powers the house rather than sucking electricity from the building like its electric-powered competitors do. A fully fueled Honda car can power an entire house for a week or drive for 300 miles before needing to be refueled. At the moment, these cars are relatively expensive and there are few hydrogen stations to fill them up. While California intends to build 70 of these stations within the state, South Korea plans to build 43 by 2017, and Germany plans to build 100 by 2017. Number 6. Geothermal Heat from Lava Geothermal power is a method of converting heat from the Earth's molten core into energy. It is used in millions of homes around the world, including 27% in the Philippines and 30% in Iceland. Recent Icelandic drilling might have discovered the Holy Grail when it discovered a pocket of magma that had only occurred in Hawaii once before. 
A team member pumped water into a hole where scorching magma vaporized to a record 842 degrees Fahrenheit when the scorching magma hit. A massive leap in geothermal energy production is expected as a result of this highly pressurized steam, which doubled the system's power output. Number 5. Nuclear Waste. Electricity is produced by nuclear fission plants all over the world. Light water technology surrounds nuclear fuel rods with water to slow neutrons and sustain nuclear reactions. It has been around for decades and provides around 20% of our electricity. In spite of this, the system is not very efficient, since only 5% of the uranium atoms in the rod are consumed by the time it is removed. The unused highly radioactive uranium just gets added to our growing nuclear waste stockpile. In contrast, there is now an alternative that appears more efficient, called a fast reactor, in which the rods are encapsulated in liquid sodium rather than water. As a result, 95% of uranium will be used instead of the unacceptably inefficient 5%. We would be able to rid ourselves of 77,000 tons of radioactive waste if we adopted it because these new reactors are capable of reusing it. Its Prism Fast Reactor is currently being marketed to companies, but the biggest obstacle is the cost of building new nuclear plants. In addition, nuclear energy is stigmatized as dangerous. Number 4. Solar Windows. The world's largest photovoltaic market is led by Germany, with production and installation costs shrinking every day. In 2012, Germany derived as much electricity from the sun as 20 nuclear power plants could have produced on an average sunny day, led by Europe's photovoltaic technology. Over half of Spain's electricity is generated by renewable resources such as solar power. A California desert is home to the largest solar power station in the entire world, and the United States has increased its solar capacity by nearly 500% since 2010. Here's something to think about. In recent years, Los Alamos National Laboratory researchers have made significant breakthroughs in quantum dot solar cell technology, which will allow highly efficient solar panels to double as transparent windows. As soon as the technology becomes affordable, every sun-exposed window in the world will become a mini power station. Number 3. Biofuels. The U.S. biofuel market has grown by more than 500% from 2002 to 2013, with crop-derived ethanol and biodiesel increasingly replacing gasoline in our cars. Henry Ford designed the Model T to run on ethanol in the 1940s. Despite the discovery of abundant quantities of cheap oil around the world, oil has become the primary source of energy. Renewable biofuels are now making a strong comeback. As a result of their use of the same resources and land as food crops, first-generation biofuels are driving up food prices and causing major problems in many developing countries. If biofuels want to replace oil with something clean and that burns, switchgrass is the perfect candidate, since it grows like a weed wherever there is sunlight and isn't a food crop. To run all the cars in the world on it, we would have to plant it on as much land as the United States and Russia combined. Because algae contain more than 50% natural oil, it is easy to extract and process. Number 2. Flying Wind Farms. In the wind, we already get a lot of energy. However, we could get it more efficiently with the buoyant air turbine, which floats 12,000 feet above the ground, where the winds are more consistent and strong. By securely tethering a ring blimp to the ground, this system will produce twice as much power as tower-mounted wind turbines. In addition to being capable of handling winds of more than 100 miles per hour, it also has features like a Wi-Fi unit, which could make the internet accessible to places that don't have it now. It even adjusts its floating height according to wind speed. It docks itself automatically if the wind speed is dangerously high, so you don't have to do anything. Number 1. Fusion. As opposed to fission, nuclear fusion does not create deadly nuclear waste because atoms are fused together rather than separated. There is no runaway and no meltdown, so fusion is much easier said than done, but one Nobel Prize-winning physicist says it is like trying to put the sun in a box. The idea is cute, but we don't know how to make it work. The technical issue is that fusion reactions will produce material that's hot and volatile, which is damaging to the reactor that created it. It is estimated that private and government companies spend billions in research, technology, and solving these problems, and fusion can provide virtually limitless power and energy if you can overcome these challenges. 
The Lockheed system is projected to meet global energy demand by 2050, which is very optimistic. Many powerful companies are quietly building their own fusion reactors, 